Hi, here's Intergeo TV Live 2022 from Essen. And I'd like to introduce you right now to my next guest here in the studio. And this is Rudolf Steiger. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, pleased to meet you, Denise. So how are you doing, Rudolf? You are FIG president. We met actually four, four and a half years ago when you just started to candidate as a FIG president. So your presence, present Dancy runs right now for about four years a lot of has happened until that time so let's have a chat about that what happened and how is it to be with FIG well, first of all it's a pleasure to be here thank you for inviting me uh, I'm doing very well due to your professional video you made I had a successful campaign yeah. was elected uh, in Istanbul quite clearly mm -hmm. and the presidency started well. Okay. The 13 months took well off. Uh, we had a successful working week in Vietnam. I made some visits to national member associations, went to the UN and so on. We started our program. We had a program on FIG 2028, which was developing a long-term strategy. Why 2028? Because then FIG will celebrate 150 years. Mm -hmm. We were founded in 1878. Mm -hmm. I was invited to Nigeria in February 2020. I was invited by the president of Nigeria, the Republic of Nigeria, was proud to be on national TV. And this was also good for our colleagues from Nigeria there. Mm -hmm. And on my way back home, I saw the first masks in the airport of Istanbul. Uh, then, the then Corona came. Mm -hmm. This was difficult. And a difficult time started. Mm -hmm. We had a working week scheduled in 2020, uh, April, May, in Amsterdam. We had to cancel this totally, which was already very difficult due to contracts we had. And in 2021, we made a virtual working week, which was very successful. Okay because we had a professional studio, we had professional support for our software we were using. But at the end, people expressed it was good, mm -hmm. but we want to meet in person. Yeah, this is what you can see here. Yes. It's an industry gathering, it's a reconnection, it's a meeting place. So people want to talk to each other and yeah. get connected. A kind of physical meeting. Mm -hmm. I mean, we learned in, in, during the pandemic, we learned to do video conference, mm -hmm. but we also know for kick-off meeting, for difficult questions, it's necessary to meet in person. Mm -hmm. In between, you can do something like status conferences and everything. Mm -hmm. That's working well. But uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So you had a lot of impressions, a lot of conversations, a lot of learnings, I guess, within the last four years um, as an FIG president. And you talked to surveyors from all over the world. You mentioned Nigeria, you mentioned Vietnam. And yeah, just tell us what are the challenges, maybe what also have they in common worldwide, what surveyors are facing or geodesists with their profession? Well, it's a split image. 30 years ago, a surveyor was in the shadow, mm -hmm. working for public administration, working for military services. Nowadays, maybe also due to Google, we know the value of geo-information. And geospatial information is the backbone of each development in society. So we are now more and more coming into sunlight. Mm -hmm. We are respected, we are seen, we are recognized. That's good. For the moment, all the job opportunities are very good. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you look around 20 years ago in the geo, measurement-wise, three companies, four companies, four, five different types of instruments. Now you have, I don't want to say hundreds, but 50 different companies, a variety of different sensor, sensor systems combined them together, which is really interesting and exciting, and this development will go on. What I have learned from FIG perspective, with this conflict in Ukraine, the Russian aggression towards Ukraine, we were asked to expel, for example, Russia. But we are a neutral organization. So what I, as a person, had to learn is you, be, you have a split personality. You have one half, which is called corporate FIG, Mm -hmm. There you need to be neutral. 
But nevertheless, you can and you should have a personal opinion on things. And now the real learning out of it is you have to accept that you have these two halves in yourself. Mm -hmm. And once you have accepted it, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so what's your impression about Intergeo? Did you have uh, the chance to get an overview of new products, innovations, or is there anything you would like uh, to mention or highlight what you have seen? For me, it's all these autonomous vehicles like the dog, the spot, the robot dog, or the drones, and uh, yeah, it's fascinating me. And also the new uh, LiDAR scanners and that solution of the pictures they are um, presenting. It's awesome for me. Of course, I had the chance to walk around and to see what is going on. It's just an overview because it's so much mm -hmm. and so huge variety. But first of all, it's this feeling of coming back. Mm -hmm. When I started early yesterday morning, Tuesday morning, eight o'clock, there was really a feeling like the athletes waiting for the signal to go. Mm -hmm. And everybody was excited about Let's start again, let's meet again. And, and this can really be felt also compared to last year, where we had something like one third of the normal size. And this year we have probably something like two thirds of the normal size. So it's very positive, people are in positive mood. You can also see a lot of people who are exhibiting uh, different products, new products. They are proud of what they did during COVID updates and but I can't pick you out for the moment just one just one product yeah I see a lot of new development yeah the whole branch developed a lot also during the pandemic so if you want to see Intergeo you still have the chance until Thursday evening um, to give us here your visit at Intergeo Essen I would like to thank you at that moment thanks for having the opportunity so, yeah we go into the exhibition right now and we invite you to do so as well thank you very much for joining us thank you